Okay. So the hope now is that that's resumed. Ah, uh, back to red. Well. Okay. No, I see us. So are we like if I was to say, Mary had a little lamb. How long would it take one of you to respond? That'll give us a good idea of, you know, time. Yeah, exactly. We're nearly in... Yes! Oh, there we go! All right. Great. Good job, folks. Thank you very much, Compost. Appreciate that. <coughs> uh, <laughs> well done, everyone. Uh, so we turned the stream off to try and cut the lag and catch back, catch back up. Uh, you, you may have missed us vamping for 90 seconds about... Stuff. Just stuff. Boz. But, you know, yeah. that's okay. It's just we didn't want to do the shenanigans and leave you all behind. Because it's, it's a really cool shenanigans this week. Yeah, let's give everybody a second because th there might be ads that people are forced to endure, unfortunately. Um, uh, apologies for that. Whilst we're doing that, yeah. do you want me to show off the boy? Yes, by all means, let us show off the, the boy. The lad uh, is, of course, you know, modeling his, his Martin outfit. Which I believe is a, a Wendy Reynolds original. Of course it's a Wendy's original. It's very cold and miserable outside, so we, we bundled the boy up. He has to be nice and warm and toasty in his Martin hoodie. Martin! His little tea. Martin! Martin. Oh, I wish we had time for TikToks. I kind of miss TikToks. I, I had a couple of thoughts on that. Uh-oh. Well, you have been cast and are in many audio dramas next year, and I kind of think TikTok needs to be all about your audio drama characters. Oh, Wendy Reynolds and Dan Rose collaboration. Dan did an excellent job on the accessories, and you did an excellent job on the outfit. Yes. <laughs> the notebook. Oh, yes. Yeah, is the note should, the notebook should be in his pocket. Look, look at look at the little notebook in my massive, massive hand. Oh, there's a request for Malachi TikToks. We, I think we could do Malachi TikToks. But TikTok first, stuff. we have to figure out what the flight uniform is, and that might take a while. Hmm. We well, might get epaulets. Cool. You want epaulets, don't you? Just in general. Really. And just some sort of jaunty hat and scarf, because flight attendants always wind up having to wear scarves, don't they? I, all, all joking aside, I, I first guess. Oh, Scarf's oh, fabulous. thank you so much, Rook. Hi, Corvid. Rook. Okay. Go ahead and explain. Um, Corvid Castle, who's in the stream tonight, is the one of the directors and also the co-star of the very long scene that we did today uh, in the episode of Rogue Maker that, that, yep. that we recorded. And, and Rook is just... Fiercely talented. I mean, this thing was 14 straight pages. And it's full of kind of Zoom call awkwardness. Oh, it's that like, scene! Yeah, it's oh, like, right. Brilliant. And it's it's full of people talking and talking over each other, and it's really hard to make it sound natural. And and Rock just knocked it out of the park. Just incredible work. Really looking forward oh, to it. Oh, and also fun as hell. You know, just really this is a show with a really positive and fun energy and spark to it, and it's it's a really well constructed mystery, and you will like everyone to varying degrees. It's gonna be really fun. Oh yeah, cannot wait. Really looking forward to it. Um, I I think they have T-shirts available, but yes, T-shirts do. don't work quite so well as flight attendant uniforms. So, okay, chat, fire your art engines. I I, I need interstellar <laughs> flight attendant uniforms. Have mercy on my costuming skills, please. Uh, Rook, you are officially weapons free on bragging. Uh, I, you know, uh, trust me. Go forth. It, it is very warranted. Very warranted. Uh, I would be lying, Eldritch, if I did not say that there is perhaps the slightest hint of Arthur Napshapi to Malachi. What is that? Arthur is the flight attendant in colossally endearing Radio 4 comedy series Cabin Pressure. Ah! Oh! About an airline with one plane, two pilots, and one flight attendant. Weapons free means you are clear and free to navigate, i.e. you have no restrictions, you may exercise your discretion. No, first you two surrounded by the EA podcast avatars. Oh, I'm not going to lie, Scott. I still really want that piece of art. That would be very fun someday. I'm sure we'll get there. Our children, our potty children. Our potty, potty. No, don't say that. That sounds bad. Our, uh, our, our rambunctious brood. <laughs> cohort. How about that? Cohort. 
cohorts. Uh, what, what did I describe <laughs> it as the other day? The estate is the technical term, yes. I think. Exactly, across yes. the estate. And, and Rook makes a very good point. Plutonic, the, the company Malachi works for, is on the cheerful side as opposed to the will throw money at it side. Yes, I, I feel so. a couple of them really would enjoy pod people. I mean, yeah, they probably would. Or podlings. Light of the Night of the Long Knives is going to happen one of these days. Ooh, ooh, oh. we, we, we have photo reference. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm thinking something like that too. I think we could okay, totally do fine. that. I can make that work. Got you could kill. totally make that work. Absolutely got the kill. Yep. Brilliant. <laughs> Scott Potty Trained is very clearly the show which we'll do about learning how to host a podcast. Stop that. That's a brilliant title. Huh. I feel like I could walk in the heels. I'm not sure I should. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The heels aren't really great for emergency situations in a flight, no. so maybe not. Right, so shall we do a shenanigan? Let's let's shenan. Right, so we're going to try something a little different tonight, because um, Ducky has picked us something quite interesting. Um, there's a bit of a visual component for that, so we need to get this set up and cross your fingers. This works. Whilst we're doing that, I will bring up the content warning for it. Which slightly, there aren't any. I I have death and dying deep water. Where's that? Uh, on the shenanigans for this week. Are, does it say death and dying deep water? Headline content warnings. My death apologies, it did not water. make it into the chat language. Very um, well. With followed by the title, "You are a single-celled organism. Can you evolve into a duck?" And I have to admit, I feel like my destiny is finally here. All right, shall we give this a try? Let's do it. Here we go. Thanks for joining us, T. No problem, tea holding Have a good night. Okay. So, can you see that? Yes. Can you read that? Yes. All right, so careful with your head, because as you can see on the screen... Oh, I needed like a mirror. We gotta, it's fine. It's we, we fine. Gotta work my on my, this my setup. head is not... I'm not going to be able to read obscured. along to this with you, so this is all you. I will read the text as it goes. Okay, so... You live on this, the planet. You are this. You're alive. My options are, you know life is me, and nah. And I think you know life is me. Is you know good. life is me. Sounds like a good option. Yes, great, you're alive. And you live here. Great. You are a single-celled organism that has had a vision of a duck. You don't know how to do it, but it's still billions of years ago. So you're optimistic. How will you proceed? Hmm. My options are, I will daydream about the possibilities, or I will die off. Daydreaming I think we have about, to visualize our future here. Daydreaming about the possibilities is basically my day job. So, <laughs> you imagine your descendants and their descendants and all their exploits and achievements in the world. Then a vivid image comes to you. I will surrender myself to the vision. Oh, hold on. Pardon me. No, there you are. Right there. A little bit further down. Good. You surrender yourself to the vision. You think about this. Ah, a duck. It's perfect. <laughs> so it is resolved. You will be this thing. Someday the child of the child of your distant descendant will wake up and it will be this. It will be a duck. I will become a duck. You are a single-celled organism that has had a vision of a duck. You don't know how to do it, but it's still billions of years ago, so you're optimistic. How will you proceed? I like this. This is a branching narrative. Yes. Very nice. My options are I will adapt myself to the theme of under the sea, or I will make a protein. I feel like making a protein. I will make a protein. Good idea. You try out making a protein. Whoa, that's actually a good protein you made. You have a knack for this. Nice. My options are, I will make another protein, or uh, I will do something else. I can see the whole screen. Can you see the whole screen? That, that little squiggly image is the whole screen. Oh, now you're covering your face. Oh. 
Hold on, doing a science. What are you doing? Uncovering my face. Okay. Hooray! <laughs> I will make another protein or I will do something else. Have a good night, Corvid. Thank you. Let's make another protein. That worked pretty well. Make another protein. Ooh. You make another protein. Oh my god. You were born to do this. <laughs> the joy you get from making proteins causes one of your organelles to contract and then expand. And it's the greatest feeling you've ever known. I will keep making proteins forever, or I will give up this crazy pipe dream and go do something else. I'm thinking I, I will keep making proteins forever at this point. That, that, that sounds pretty good to me. Have a good night, Pezzy. Flouting tradition, you throw yourself into making proteins. You go on to become the most prolific thing you to have ever lived on the thing in terms of proteins made. After 16 minutes of protein production, you die. Oh dear. You did not manage to evolve into a duck, but you left behind a legacy of incredible proteins that will not soon be forgotten. Okay, so let's start over. So we died. We died. Okay, so, so maybe we should not make proteins forever. We live on the thing. We are this thing. We're alive. Good. We will daydream about our possibilities. We will surrender ourselves to the vision of duck. Yes. We will make a protein. We'll make some more proteins. We will make another protein. And then we will give up this crazy pipe dream and go do something else. And now we will do something else. Yes. You are a single-celled organism that has had a vision of a duck. You don't know how to do it, but it's still billions of years ago, so you're optimistic. How will you proceed? I think we'll make a protein. Okay. And then I think we'll make something else let's make after the, one protein. Let's make something else. You are a single-celled organism, so we're back at the start. Okay. So we'll make a protein. Right. Or maybe we will adapt ourselves to the theme of under the sea. Let's adapt ourselves to the theme of under the sea. Sure, why not? Over the next billion years, you really go all out theming your genetic build-up around the idea of under the sea. Pretty soon, you look like this. Nice going. What's next? I love trilobites. Trilobites are genuinely one of my all-time favorite animals. They're Scroll also... down a little bit so they can see that on the screen, would you? It's fully on there. Okay. Nice going. What next? Go for size, go for depth, or go for style. Depth is going to be an issue, because eventually we need to come out of the ocean to, you know, be a duck. Size is going to be an issue, because I'm pretty certain we have an external skeleton at the moment, and eventually that's going to collapse under its own weight. But way. ducks are bigger than we are, so we should go for size. Let's go for size. Your body swells, and soon you're this huge thing. Nate, if you're in Vodhalla, look at the crab. <laughs> go for size again. Go for style or go for depth? Let's go for style at this point. You go for style and it pays off. Woohoo! You spend the next era cruising around the ocean as this incredible fish. And that is a pretty great fish. We now have go for size, go for depth, or go right for the duck. I don't think we can go right for the duck from I'm here. I'm thinking size, because this is a little fish. Yeah, little let's go for fish. size. No, back to being a crab. Your body swells, and soon you're this huge thing. So let's go for... I think we went for... We went for style, style to become the fish. Depth, we think? Let's try depth. You adapt to the low depths of the deep sea, and soon you look like this thing, which is much less pretty than the fish. I'm thinking maybe try style. Let's try style. Nope, we're a fish again. Okay, so we're back with the fish. Shall we try going just for the duck now? Let's just go right for the duck. Go right? for the duck. We'll go for duck. Go for duck. Oh no, you went right for the duck too early and mistakenly evolved into Michael Phelps, the swimmer. <laughs> In the open ocean, you are quickly eradicated by some of your better adapted cousins. You did not manage to evolve into a duck. Dang. So let's give this another shot. One more try. One more run. We've had a vision. One, um, we would adapt myself to the theme of under the sea because the yep. protein thing is deceptive. And go for style straight out of the gate. 
What are our options again? Depth. Size, depth, and style. Try depth to start with. Look at your man. Now back to the crab. Now look at your man. Now back to crab. <laughs> no, Sadly, back to he's crab. not crab. But if he evolved a rounded exoskeleton and a squat shape with articulated legs, he could look like he's crab. Look down. Now look up. What's this? <laughs> it's two horse. tickets to that thing you like. Love. Um, <clears throat> we are back at fish. Okay. Go for depth again. Go for size. Go for style. Or go right for the duck. Try depth again. Nope, we died. Strange, luminous, deep-sea creature that looks like this. You did not manage to evolve into a duck. And apparently we've evolved into a laser show that reads God Bless America. <laughs> Fair. So. Let's get back to Project Duck. Let's get back to Project Duck. I like this, though. I wonder how you get to duck. We've done size and depth. We've done all three of these now. Yeah. First time through. Hmm. So let's do size, because that makes us the crab again, right? Yeah. And now what do we have? Size again, style and depth. Style took us to fish. That was closer. Yeah. Depth took us to murder fish. Right. Size again, I think. Go to style. Let's go style. Back for fish. Okay. So now what do we have? We have go for size, go for depth, and go right for duck. Have we gone for duck from fish? Yes. Yeah, we died. So let's go for size from here. Let's be a bigger fish. No, nope, it just makes Back us a crab. crab again. So I think we're going to go for size again. Okay, let's try size. <gasps> hey, progress. What are we now? Uh, um, a bigger fish. What? Okay, what does it say? You spend another few million years dying whenever you are small and breeding when you're large. Soon, you are this healthy creature. We have go all in on size or boldly venture onto land. I wish to boldly venture onto land. <gasps> what are we? Wow. This is a big moment for you. Forsaking everything, you take one last gulp of water and burst through the surface and onto land. Your fins fall away, your gills wither, and the land becomes your home. Woohoo! Um, our options are boldly venture back into the water, become trees... Or become a walking land creature. I don't think we should become trees. Attacked by trees. Attacked by trees. So become a walking land creature. I think a walking land creature is in our best interests. <gasps> We're a mammal. You are a plain flavored land creature. I am happy with this. I will become another plain flavored land creature. Or I now think that beaks look good. I think beaks look good. Let's get a beak. Ducks have beaks. As a species, you decide that beaks look good and that everyone should have beaks. <laughs> there is one option, and it is beaks are mandatory. I love it. Let's do it. Many millions of years pass. Eventually, you look like this. Ah, yes, I'm a duck at last. This is a duck. It is a raptor. Okay. <laughs> there is no denying that what I am is the very definition of a duck. Or, no, I'm not a duck. I must keep evolving. You must keep evolving. You keep evolving day in and day out, but it seems to be of no use. We're now an ostrich, and the only option is this is the wrong size to be a duck. To which I say, evolution, you are literally not thinking big enough. This is the wrong size to be a duck. Is that our only option? Yes. This is also the wrong size to be a duck. Peacock. Okay. This is more like Michael Phelps the swimmer than it is like a duck. <laughs> You look around, and it seems everyone has the same idea. All trying to be a duck, but no one quite getting it right. <laughs> Meanwhile, just look at me. This isn't working. And we appear to be a spoonbill. So we have form a symbiotic relationship with Henry. Pray to God to make you into a duck. <laughs> I'm moderately certain the option is symbiotic relationship with Henry here. Is, are those our two options? They are literally symbiotic relationship with Henry or pray to God to make you into a duck. That's symbiotic relationship. We'll see. Evolution hasn't been going so great, so you form a symbiotic relationship with Henry. The way your mutualistic dependence works is that Henry points at you and then you point at Henry. <laughs> then you both reproduce and your children do the same thing. 
Uh, I, the answers are, I will continue with the symbiotic relationship, or I will go for the duck now. I will go for the duck now. No. You go for the duck, but it's too much of a stretch. On June 30th, 1985, you evolve into Michael Phelps, the swimmer. <laughs> it's clear that there is nowhere to go from here. Your body is optimized for acquiring gold. You and your descendants are happy to be the species called Michael Phelps, the swimmer. And yet sometimes you still dream of the duck you might have become. Imagining what might have happened if you'd made just a few different choices somewhere along the way. My name is Duck, but, but not just yet. Some evolution I must get. Past fish and crab, but soon with luck. I shall evolve. I go, go for, for duck. duck. <laughs> okay, now you read that. When they put it in the chat, so everybody can clip it. My name is Duck, but not just yet. Some evolution I must get. Past fish and crab, but soon, with luck, I shall evolve. I go for Duck. <laughs> okay, I go for Duck may have to go on the emoji list. <laughs> I'm writing it down. Oh, it's a good t-shirt idea. It's I go for It's a very good t-shirt idea. I will become Duck. I will go for Duck. I want to play with this a whole lot more. This thing is very fun. But I think that's also a pretty good place to wrap up. What about you? Uh, I'm just going through it again. Are you trying again? Yeah. <laughs> he wants to play. Again! Again, again. There you go. Getting on land was a good... Well, this is our dis our decision is go on land or something else. Uh, go all in on size or boldly venture onto land. I think we have to go onto land. And then it's become a walking land creature, not become Tweez. Don't become Tweez. I now think the beaks look good. Beaks are mandatory. I'm not a duck. I must keep evolving. This is the wrong size to be a duck. This is the wrong size to be a duck. This is more like Michael Phelps, the swimmer, than it is like a duck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Meanwhile, just look at me. Let's see what happens when you pray to God to make you into a duck. Pray to God to make me into a duck. God hears you and mutters some magic words. <gasps> magic words? <sighs> awesome. You are practically there. Becoming a duck from here should be an absolute layup. I will just evolve a tiny bit more. Okay. No. What happened? Somehow you took things too far and you evolved into an ostrich. In case you weren't aware, this creature is a scam, posing as an upgraded premium duck that in practice lacks any of the charms of the Bare Bones original. You've been had. You did not manage to evolve into a duck. That's a good spot to leave it, isn't it? We have failed to go for duck. I'm going to give it one more try. Yeah, go ahead. All Just right. make sure you're narrating it so people can follow along. So we go through the standard questions. You Get know life is me. Yep. Great, we're alive. I will daydream about the possibilities. Surrender myself to the vision. I will oh my gosh, duck. I'm tired. Sorry, everybody. Apologies for the honor. Let's see. Size. Style. 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 On to land. Size. Size again. On to land. Do not become Tweez. What are the other options? Become a walking land creature, boldly venture into the water, or become trees. Boldly venture into the water. What happens? Wow, this is a big moment for you. Forsaking everything, you migrate into the water and leave the land behind. You begin to grow fins and gills, perfect for this new era of life under mm. the sea. Boldly venture onto land, or go right for duck. Go right for duck, or you're going to die. Oh no, you went right for the Dr. Will. You mistakenly evolved into Michael Phelps, the swimmer. Okay. So yeah, um, this is the thing. We need more experience to go for Duck. Is we need what more we're experience learning. to go for Duck, so... Shall I, uh, shall we say goodnight? Uh, I may have started again. <sighs> Last time. Go for Duck. Go for Duck. We are Go For Duck. I need it with, like, NASA branding. We are Go For Duck. We are Go time. For Duck control. Control, we are Go For Fly. Duck. Go, no, go on, Duck. Go on, Duck. Two fingers, Al. Al. This just in. One finger. Two finger. Very serious. We are Go For Duck. They never use white shot.
All right, where are so you? I'm now back at form a symbiotic relationship with Henry. Or? Uh, I will continue with the symbiotic relationship where Henry and I point at each other and then our children do the same. Or I will go for the dark now. The last time we were here, we went for the dark and it ended poorly. Okay, so I guess we continue being a symbiote for a bit longer. You remain in the symbiotic relationship with Henry, who is pointing at me again in a different photo. I will go for the duck now. I will keep becoming. I will, I will keep going with Henry, or I will become something simple like a stone. Let's become something simple. That feels like an end point. All right. Well, you pick then. Let's give Henry one more try. Okay. You, you stay in the symbiotic relationship with Henry forever. When the present day arrives, you are still pointing at each other, and you have not managed to evolve into a duck. That seems like a good place. Are to you leave sure? It. Yeah. Are you done now? Yeah, I'm done now. All right. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's like, ah, we want to keep playing. All right. Everybody tell us about how you finally make it into a duck when you get a yes, chance. Yes, please do. We, we literally need to walk through for this. What is this hidden experience mechanic? And you have to try a bunch of times before it gives you duck. That's, that's entirely possible. Maybe one more. Okay. Are you done? No. You sure? Yes. Okay. All right. Are you still playing? I just... He's still playing, but they can't see, honey. Yes, they... Oh, God, they can't, can they? Okay. Hold on. Uh, I'm going for size. <sighs> I'm now onto the land. I'm narrating it. I think he, beaks he, look he, good. He Be can't stop. Beaks are mandatory. I'm not a duck. I must keep evolving. Wrong size. Wrong shape. Michael Phelps. <laughs> Meanwhile, just look at me. Symbiotic relationship with Henry. Continue symbiotic relationship with Henry. But stop now. I will go for the duck now. You're gonna die, but do it. Be something simple like a stone. You become a rock. It's a relief to be out of that weird situation with Henry. Good. I will become specialized for roundness, or I will become specialized for legs. Specialized for legs. Ducks have legs. legs. You become a many-legged rock. Specialized for roundness. Sure. You become a round rock. Specialized for smallness or legs? Legs. See if I can turn Jean back into a turtle. Yep. All right, uh, do it again. Specialized for roundness. Smallness. Specialized for smallness. Become even smaller. You've become a baseball? Yes. Well, you're a tiny smooth rock. Not much else to say here except, yes, that's a smooth rock, and thanks for trying to evolve into a duck, but in the end you didn't have the stuff. Remain a tiny smooth rock that looks suspiciously like a duck egg, or split yourself open in despair. Split yourself open in despair. Giving up completely, you split yourself open, and a miracle happens! It's a duck! After billions of years, you are here. The prophecy fulfilled. You evolved into a duck. Well done. So you evolved into a duck egg and then became a duck because the egg comes before the yes. chicken. Yes, you are duck is the is the victory screen. Yes. Yes, you are duck. Behold. Behold, duck. <laughs> See, ending on a high note, sending you folks home happy. Happy, we are go for duck. Yes, indeed. All right, tell folks what we're up to. <laughs> I love Wendy's. One more proper go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this coming Friday, this week's edition of the Full Lid, our award-nominated newsletter will be out. Yes. This is the anti-penultimate, that's a word I checked, um, edition before... That, uh, but it's we... inaccurate, because penultimate means the one before the last, and this is the penultimate. Yes, but there might be one on the 17th. But that doesn't count. That's a bonus. Okay. So Rem okay. Is... So the planned last issue of the Full Lid will be next Friday, December 10th. Um, there may be a show and tell coloring bring in. Bring a toy in from, from home. You know, bring a toy from home, no uniform day version of the full lid on Friday the 17th. But we'll be uh, ostensibly at Worldcon at that point. So we don't know. So, uh, yeah, this week's edition will definitely feature a look at why Vinda, the companion from the new series of Doctor Who, is great. Yes. Um, and a look at a really lovely uh, graphic novel about grief called The Wilds. Yep. And there may also be a movie in the middle of that. I'm undecided. Um, then on Sunday, we will return to Life is Strange, True yep. Colors, 
where there will be feelings there processing. will be a lot of feelings because it ended on feelings and we're gonna pick it right back up with feelings and probably with a funeral and probably with a funeral so yeah. folks if that's too much for you to handle on a sunday morning but holla awaits you sit it out it's all good. sleep in get yourself some pancakes it's all good exactly don't even worry and about then it we'll, we will be back here next wednesday and i believe we are in the process of locking down what we will be doing yes next wednesday's stream will be don't know yet because um we had a folks with the st kilda uh had a folks we had a folks with the st kilda folks chat yeah we we had a chat with the st kilda folks and they want to focus on getting the season out which makes perfect sense because their goal is to launch their first issue by the end of the month um so we are going to postpone them <gasps> she says yawning you're welcome now you're all yawning too you're um welcome. i know i know the duck creation myth you split from a rock yes i agree uh, so we're going to probably postpone them till January so that you will have had a chance to listen to a couple of episodes and we'll have so much to talk about <laughs> by then. Um, so next week is up in the air. We don't really have a plan just quite yet. We might play a thing. We might just hang out and chat at you. I mean, heaven for friend, how would we fill the time? Um, but we'll come up with something. Don't worry. I'm sure if, we'll be fine. If you have any brilliant ideas, by all means, um, probably because of the lag, it'll take the chat a little bit to catch up with this. But if you have any ideas for streams for next week that are nice and easy, uh, let us know. Because next week's stream is also probably the last is the last planned one for the year. Yeah. On the 15th, <clears throat> it's, it's kind of up in the air because I think we actually have Worldcon programming on Wednesday night. So it, it's quite possible that um, I know Zalia talked about maybe playing a game for a little bit, which yeah. would be great. Or it's possible that next week will be it before the holidays and we won't see you till the new year. But we'll let you know. We will indeed. Uh, All right. I think that's everything. Thanks. Hang on. I have to find buttons. Vamp. Okay. So, yeah, we are duck. <laughs> We're relishing in our inherent duckery. Have you found buttons? That's your yeah. I found buttons. That's fine. Cool. Um, thank you very much for joining us, folks, especially on this evening of benevolent chaos. Um, and I'm, with so much lag. Oh, so much lag. Oh my Twitch. Twitch. So Good much job. lag. You're doing fine. Um, but no, you folks really are doing fine. It's always a pleasure to spend time yeah. with you. Take care of yourself. Thank you all so much. I've been Alistair. I've been Marguerite. And this has been fun. We'll see we you are later. Dark. Bye.